Hey guys, this is Kevin with Lake Warrior. Today, I'm gonna talk to you a little bit about a friend of mine here on the lake, Steamboat Ken. I brought Steamboat Ken up multiple times in my videos. He's an awesome guy, mechanical genius, and he has one of the most amazing boats that I've ever experienced, uh, the, the SSS Norman J. So my goal today is to show you guys about the SSS Norman J and let Ken explain how it works, what it does, um, the nuances of the steam whistles and how the Calliope works on board, um, and just give you a little synopsis of a boat that I find to be really interesting um, and kind of spotlight a neighbor of mine who is just kind of awesome. Kevin with Lake Warrior on the boat with Steamboat Ken and a whole group of fun people. Yeah, Ken, tell me, tell me the basics. Now, we, you put the wood in right here. Yep, right here. Down below. Yep. So you throw the wood in there. Yeah, there's wood in there now, getting ready to fire it up. Okay, and then the fire's, the fire's down below, and then what happens as we go up? So, uh, so the fire goes through, the, and the heat goes through the tubes, transfers the, to the water, it goes through the uh, cowl up on top. There's another heat exchanger built into that that preheats the incoming water. So that's another feature with this. And then uh, obviously the stack uh, is fixed solid with the upper stack. The crown actually raises up. It's um, uh, electric for towing. So it's a uh, remote. I can show you that if you want to see it. Okay, so then the steam comes out the white pipes. It goes into it goes into the engine. This is a EH Wax engine. It's 1924. It's been around a long time, and uh, it's uh, around five to seven horsepower, depending on the pressure. And it goes through this governor, and the governor controls the speed of the uh, engine itself, so you don't over rev it. The governor is the top. The yes, little, the little yeah, balls. The fly ball governor. Balls Part, to the walls. Balls to the wall. That's where it came from. And then, uh, so, uh, you'll, you'll notice that the, the throttle and the shifter is an in and out trans, uh, forward reverse, because the engine only goes one way. And it's coupled to 
when I added uh, uh, some pumps and an alternator, 24 volt alternator, because I have thrusters on here to help me put it on a trailer. And uh, the shifter is also actually remote control too. So I can actually run this as a one man show. I've got controls up front and I also have this uh, remote uh, shifter there that works off a remote fob. Okay. And uh, and then, so the, the steam generates the power through the piston. Yeah. Out of the flywheel. Through the flywheel. Through, through the, the flywheel. Shaft. Through the shaft. And then we go back here to the paddle wheel. Well, you go through the transmission here. Okay, the transmission. Uh, and then it goes drive shaft chain to a, uh, what I would consider a, a, a pretty ingenious way of taking an old Ford rear end and making it uh, transfer to horizontal power through the paddle wheel. paddle wheel in this boat with eight paddles um, and we, we, we made it uh, 16 obviously it's a much smoother transition we've also added went from cable steering to uh, hydraulic steering which works pretty well and then I've also noticed I've been on the Norman J multiple times. You you have these side thrusters that help you a little bit, right? Yeah, they're uh, they uh, because I put the boat in and out on a trailer, this custom trailer. Uh, getting it on a windy day is pretty tough, so I use the I use the thrusters uh, to help position the boat, put it on on uh, the trailer. They, they put about 180 pounds of thrust total. It actually moves the steamboat about three knots. Oh wow! Yeah, it moves it pretty fast, you know. But uh, I don't use them. There's uh, there's dual battery systems on here, and it's uh, not only to power the thrusters, but the power to Calliope. The Calliope itself uses uh, one ten. There's a three thousand watt uh, inverter on here for 20, 20 amps of uh, one ten. So the battery system on here is basically to power you know, the items like the power thrusters and the uh, Calliope controller. So Ken, tell me, tell me the modifications that you had to make to the, to the paddle wheel um, to help make it a little smoother. Yeah, so, so originally, if you can imagine, it was every other one was, was the original paddle. We added, uh, we added eight more. So we went from eight to 16. And that, that allowed us to be a little bit more efficient in uh, moving the boat. Smoother ride. Very, very smooth, yes. Yep, and it works pretty well. How's the water going? Ken, what was the hardest when, when designing these Calliope's? What's the hardest? What was the hardest thing you had to deal with? Well, first of all, uh, I'll, I'll start back with uh, the whistle design is pretty well documented. I went off a of whistle design uh, and made whistles uh, based off uh, some previous uh, information that's out there on the internet. And I built my first 10 Calliope's making it that way. Then I had a controller that was designed by a person in here in the United States, uh, uh, and that controller was no longer available, so I had to go to a different controller, something that was supported technically. And the company to build this has been around for, I believe, 75 years now, and they're still in business. And uh, so they build this uh, controller, which is the hardest part of this Goliath. The rest of this is mechanical. Um, 
and uh, you have to understand steam flow. Um, and uh, I actually have a test stand that I can calibrate whistles uh, with the different size valves, depending on the whistles that I use. These are smaller whistles because of the boat. Uh, but the, some of the whistles that I built, uh, the, the lowest note is uh, uh, an A220 uh, hertz, I believe. So right now, uh, we've hooked up to the Best Tech Wi-Fi, which this is a Wi-Fi center, and we've hooked up to the, uh, this controller through this app that's on my phone, and I actually can play the Calliope songs from that. So if I choose, choose to do uh, play piano, which is my piano, and I, I went to my, I have a USB drive in there with a lot of my songs that I have, and what you what you'll hear is uh, this this will be the valves firing and it's through this controller it's actually playing a patriotic song now glory glory hallelujah so up in here are all the valves in line from this old manifold so so it goes the manifold to the valves to the whistle. Yes, mm -hmm. and it, it's all through this, this steam pipe up here through this regulator, which is a high pass regulator. Comes from the boiler here, this is the on and off valve. But what you hear that clicking is the actual, it would be playing steam music in here, which would... If the boiler was fired up. Yeah, and it would be irritating for the neighbors. <laughs> <laughs> So it's firing, and if you look down here in the controller, you can see it, uh, the, the board's doing their job. They're, they're playing off the USB. So this allows me to play the calliope while I'm operating the steamboat.